Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. So guys, over here in this particular video, we are going to learn about the what is nothing but the buoyancy of the liquid, what is nothing but the like the principle of the flotation, what is the Archimedes principle. So all these topics we are going to cover in today's video. So guys, if you're new to my educational channel, Engineers Academy, please click on the subscribe button and please press the bell icon guys. So whenever I upload a new video, you will get instant notification. So guys, let's begin with our today's topic. That is nothing but the buoyancy. So let me give you an example over here. Suppose I'm having a particular body. I have uh, like hold that body particular in a, uh, my hand. And like this particular body is having a predetermined weight. So that is nothing but the acceleration due to the gravity. It has a weight basically. Now, if suppose I immerse that particular body into the liquid, okay, then that particular body, like it, the weight of that body, it feels lighter when that particular body is immersed into the liquid. So is there any change in the weight of that particular body? No. Like this particular body feels lighter when it is immersed into the liquid, when it is immersed into the water. So why this happens basically? Because when that particular body gets immersed into the water, okay, the like the water molecules, the fluid particles exert a particular pressure on that immersed body. So this particular pressure can be called as an upthrust force exerted by the fluid. This particular upthrust force like tends to like uh, tends to lift that body in upward direction. And this particular force exerted will be in the opposite direction of that the like the gravity acts basically. So this particular force can be called as the upthrust force. In fluid statics, it can be called as the buoyancy. So this particular force can be called as the buoyancy of the liquid basically. So more the force exerted by that particular fluid on that particular object the more will be the reaction that is the upward reaction will be occur over here which is against that that of the gravity okay if the particular body is having more weight than that of the force then in that case this particular uh, like the body gets immersed when it is immersed in that fluid it will like it will sink in that particular fluid if this weight is more than that of the force of buoyancy if the buoyancy force is more than that of the weight of that particular body, then in that condition, that particular body will float on the water. So guys, this is nothing but the simple principle of the flotation. So this is nothing but the simple pr principle and like all the like major heavy cargo vessels, all the ships, this all works on this basic same principle. That is nothing but the principle of the flotation. So this is how a particular ship like uh, like uh, this uh, floats on the water that is nothing but the total weight of the ship is less than that of the force of buoyancy acts by the fluid so in this case the ship will float on the water so that is nothing but the principle of the flotation on the other hand if suppose I am having a particular bottle that bottle is like air tightened basically and if I try to immerse that particular bottle water bottle if i try to immerse that bottle into the uh, into the water basically that water will try to exert a pressure on my hand okay and that bottle try to like uh, come on the surface of the water it means over here in this case the force of the buoyancy will be more basically suppose if i insert a particular body into the water and in that case the weight of that particular displaced fluid which is gets displaced fluid will be equal to the weight of that particular body so this particular principle is nothing but the Archimedes principle the weight of the displaced fluid will be equal to the weight of that particular uh, object which which is there immersed in that particular uh, fluid basically so this particular uh, like uh, this particular principle can be called as the Archimedes principle. Now let's talk about the center of buoyancy. When a particular body is like partially immersed in the water, suppose over here, as you can see over here in this particular image, 
then in this case the center of buoyancy will be exact below the center of the gravity if the body is fully immersed in that particular uh, uh, liquid it is having height h so in this case the center of the gravity will be the center of buoyancy upon which the resultant buoyant force will act so this is nothing but the center of buoyancy it will it will be vary as per the you know how this particular like a particular object gets uh, immersed into the water it will vary as per the like the uh, it is whether it is partially immersed or whether it is fully immersed the angle of like the uh, the angle whether uh, the angle of the surface of the liquid level and the angle of this particular like uh, so it will vary basically so this is nothing but the all about the buoyancy archimedes principle and the principle of flotation so guys this is nothing but the simple video on the buoyancy if you having any doubts any queries you can comment below and guys please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy yeah like like your subscription will really motivates me to make more of such educational videos so guys thank you so much for watching this video guys please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy